What's up guys, welcome in. In a lot of my previous videos, I've showed you how to make some really cool stuff using Canva and other tools, but oftentimes I leave out how to actually put that into OBS. And that's because I would have to add it in every single video, but I've had a lot of requests for it. So what I think we're gonna do is make this video and just tag this video in all my future videos. I said video a lot, but you know what, let's, let's just get into it. Does your stream need healing? You've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Heels and I am your content cleric. Around here we make videos just like this to help you build an amazing brand on a bomb budget, right? Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So this right here is an overlay that, I don't know, I made some time ago. I figured this was a good starting place. If you wanna see how to act, how I made this and make your own similar to this, I'll try to have it linked down in the description. Um, if I forget that because ADHD, then uh, just look through my, my video log. Uh, my video log, is that what they call them these days? Is that what the kids are calling them? No, um, just look look through my videos, guys. Anyway, this is a cool brand. I really enjoyed it, thought it was a lot of fun. Um, but in it, I don't think I actually showed how to put it in OBS. So today we will. We'll start, we're just gonna do this one. This will be the most simple way, but this is gonna be the same technique, whether you are working with a full camera overlay, a uh, full screen overlay, you're just starting, you're just chatting, I, all, the, all, the, all the stuff, man. It's been a while since I recorded a video, isn't it? I forgot how to talk in the meantime. All right, so from right here, we're going to say we want a page one, so we're just gonna remember page one, hit share, hit download, then we do want it to be a PNG because we want this cutout back here, right? Now, just now thinking about it, sometimes we'll be using a video file, so I'll show you how to do a video file as well because the process is a little bit different. Not just that we're exporting it not as a PNG, but that we're actually exporting it not transparent, but with a green background and we're gonna use a chroma key. I will include that in this video as well. So we wanna go PNG, make sure transparent background is selected. If we were downloading everything, we just download it all. If we wanna download everything, we would just download all pages, but we don't. For now, we just want to download page one. I love that it has current page, so whatever page I'm on is what it'll select, but that's just gonna be page one. Hit done, hit download. Now I'm just going to minimize this. Oh, don't look at my script. Just kidding, it's not a script, but that is the overlay for the Elgato prompter. Uh, yeah, anyway, pretty awesome. Okay, so right here we have OBS in front of us. Let's just say we're starting with a completely blank scene. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do for this particular one is I wanna go ahead and add in my camera. So I'm gonna hit the little plus sign, video capture device, choose my camera. Um, for this one, we're just gonna create a new one. We'll call it camera. We're super creative around here, guys. OBS virtual camera. And there we go, look at that guy right there. Uh, color looks off on this side. Is my color like that? Yeah. Oh, well, we're not gonna, we're gonna Go to, no, there's no filters. Okay, we're not even gonna worry about that because that's not the point of this tutorial, guys. All right, we've downloaded our image. We have our camera in here now. So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to hit the plus sign. Um, for this particular one, it's gonna be an image because again, we downloaded a PNG image, but if it were a video, we would do a media source. So we're gonna do image. We're gonna do uh, 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 overlay because I probably have a couple named that. So we're gonna go overlay. We're gonna hit browse. We're gonna go to our downloads, right? Find the one that we downloaded, that one right there. Uh, and click okay. And just like that, it's already sized, but let's imagine, you know, you forgot to save it to the right size or something and it's like this, you just drag it down this way. Now, a little trick if, let's say you don't want this right side in it for some reason, if you actually hover over this um, little red square right here and hold down your alt key, it actually crops it. Don't know if you knew that or not but neat little trick. Ah, oh, perfect, <laughs> right? And then same way you can hold down Alt and un uncrop, decrop, I don't know. There we go. Okay, so that is how you pull in a image overlay. Now let's look at how to pull in a video overlay. Okay, so right here I have a video overlay. You can tell it's a little bit different. Um, I have a big green square and that's because the only way that we can really do this at this point in Canva is to do a chroma key in OBS and I'll show you how to do that. But you can see this is a video. If I hit the play button, there we go. Looks very, very cool. I actually really, really like this one. I don't have a tutorial up for this one, but if you want one, make sure you put a comment down below on how this one was made. It was a, it's a template, it's a template. I did not make this, I'm not gonna take credit 
Uh, someone very talented made this. So uh, you will go up here to share. You wanna go to download. Uh, I wanna keep it as an MP4 video. You can adjust your sizing. Um, you can go all the way up to 4K. Um, 1080 is fine. I only stream it, stream it 1080. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit download. And our video has now downloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this. I'm back in OBS and so I'm going to put that away. Say we're back where we started. We have our camera in here, but we don't have anything else. So I'm going to go and hit the plus sign. Instead of an image, we are going to do a media source because it is a video that we have here. And I'm going to do overlay video. Look at that. All right. Um, okay. Then I'm going to hit browse. I'm going to select the one I want. Now, because of the way that this one is, I actually want to turn on loop because I want it to continuously keep going. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's all. We wanna keep our speed exactly how it is. Maybe we'd wanna speed it up or slow it down, but for now, we'll keep everything how it is. We're gonna hit okay, and there we go. It's actually in here. So as you can tell, it's here, I'm not. And so let's go here to filters, hit the plus sign, find the chroma key filter, click okay. And just like that, it already removed it. Sometimes you have to mess with your similarity, your smoothness, all this other stuff uh, for it to work. But this time we don't have to because it already did it. I'm gonna hit close and there I am. Now let's adjust our camera, you know, to be a little, little better in here. And just like that, we have a video overlay done pretty flawlessly. So the method I just showed you right there will work whether you're working with video or photo or you want to put your logo on the screen, whatever else you have. If you have any more questions, put them down in the comments. But hey, I appreciate you so much for watching. Go out, have an amazing day. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you in the next one.